Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. If you are a welder, you must keep in mind the following two things. First, the metal will distort after welding. Distortion happens mainly when welding steel plates or frames. Even if you are the best welder in the world, it will change the shape of metal after welding. Experienced welders or welder fitters only know how to minimize or fix it after welding. There are several videos about this in my previous episodes. If you are interested, please refer to the links in the description. Second, if you weld metal, it shrinks. This is the topic of today's episode. Shrinkage usually happens when welding pipe joints. First, let's look at the pipe spool drawing. The length of the pipe spool is 47, 13, 16 inch. That means when you measure the length after welding, it should be 47, 13, 16. First, let's measure the length before welding. There are three total weld joints. The gap is approximately 1 8. Measure from face to face of both flange. The length is 48 inches. Let's measure the length after welding. It is 47, 13, 16 bang on as requested on the drawing. It was 48 inch before welding, but it shrunk about 316 after welding. You can see that it shrunk about 116 per weld joint. It was welded by STT root and flux cord cap, so it just shrunk 116 per joint. If it had been welded by TIG root and TIG cap, it would have shrunk 332 at least per joint. It is very important to know that there is a shrinkage when welding pipes. If you are a pipe welder, you should be able to calculate the pipe cut size. It is an essential skill as a pipe welder or a pipe welder feeder. Usually, beginners do not consider shrinkage when calculating. Therefore, the pipe is always short after welding and brings about big issues when connecting in the field. How much does it shrink? To be honest, I don't know. It is different depending on welding processes. In general, TIG weld shrinks more than stick or MIG welding. Even if it is the same welding process, the shrinkage can be different depending on who welds. The following is my experience and I want to share just as a reference. Stainless tubing. No shrink. In fact, it shrinks a little bit, but you can ignore this shrinkage. So you don't have to consider shrinkage when calculating pipe cut size. Nowadays, it is mostly welded by an orbital welding machine. Schedule stainless pipe such as Schedule 10 or Schedule 40. It shrinks between 332 and 18. When I do a pipe weld by TIG, mostly it shrinks 332 per each weld joint. Socket welding. It shrinks around 116. Sleeve on flange welding. It shrinks around 116 too. Let me show you how to calculate pipe cut length as a sample. If you look at the drawing, the length from the elbow center to one pipe end is 24 inch. The other side is 12. The pipe is 4 inch and schedule 10. The elbow is a 4 inch short radius, not long radius. Therefore, the elbow center to end length is 4 inch. So, how long should I cut the pipe? 24 minus 4 is 20. The pipe cut length is 20. If it is a long radius elbow, the elbow center to end is 6 inch. Then, the pipe cut length is 24 minus 6, 
is 18. Some people may say that I'm wrong because I did not consider shrinkage after welding. That is a good call. However, I will cut 20 inch. Why? If I make this spool, I will give a gap 332. That means the length before welding is 24 332. After welding, it will shrink by 332. Then the length after welding will be 24 inch bang on. If you do stick or MIG welding, the calculation might be different. So please take this as a reference. The best way is that you try and find out how much it shrinks when you weld. Today, I explain two very important things. If you weld metal, it warps and shrinks. You should know how to prevent and fix the warpage. You should know how to cut pipe size considering shrinkage. Thanks for watching and see you next time.